when I was, in, when I was uh, applying for a job here, there were 75 applicants for three spots. I was the only one to caddy for the president for 10 years. So I got one of the three spots and, you know, and I worked there for the next 21 years. And yet, personally, you didn't feel time was on your side. I mean, why do you pick up and quit at 46? It was a funny decision because I loved what I did. I loved my fun. It's sort of like a hot fudge Sunday indicator. I mean, one hot fudge Sunday is good. Two is not so good. When you have to eat seven, you sort of approach nausea. I had a lot of things I enjoyed. I enjoyed my job. I enjoyed my outside charitable activities. I really enjoyed my family. It all didn't fit. It just didn't fit. If we had a nine-day week or a ten-day week, I might have been able to do it. But in my person, I probably would have worked eight days out of the nine-day week. So you can't run a fund half speed. You can't run it at quarter speed. You either run it full out or you don't. I had to come to a decision saying, what, what, what I want to do the next 20, 30 years. And I decided, you know, this was not what I wanted to do. Do you feel that uh, once you made that decision, people came up to you and said, gee, I know just how you feel. I, I'd like to do the same thing, but I can't? It, that was amazing, Meryl. I, I thought a lot of people would be critical, a lot of people would be upset. You know, I had over a million accounts in Magellan. One out of 100 people in the country were in the fund. I received thousands of letters, thousands of telegrams and phone calls, and almost all of them said, gee, I really wish you'd continue to run it, but I think you're doing the right thing. Thank you very much. People that weren't in the fund said, I think it's a smart decision. It was amazing. I mean, it was incredible. It was this outpouring of people saying, what a brilliant thing you're doing. I didn't think it was that brilliant. I just did it. What advice do you give those of your generation toying with the idea of getting off the fast track? Well, if they, if they have enough net worth, and, I mean, and that's what I was lucky enough to achieve, and you're exhausted, and, and you, you can't do the things you want to do, and you have a lot of young children, and you want to spend some time with your wife, it's silly to keep working. I don't remember anybody when they're dying saying, I wish I'd spent more time in the office. I mean, I've never heard that statement. It just never occurs. I mean, you ought to say to yourself, what's good? What's fun? And if, you, if you've been blessed with enough net worth, it's silly to keep doing what you're doing.